Okay guys, so here we are, the 1968 Zenith Blue project that we've been working on. This car was already painted when it came to us and my client who bought this car wanted to do some upgrades. So I've been giving you guys a progression over the past few weeks of what we've been, uh, what we've been doing to this car. And I just quickly took it out for a little bit of a voyage. I had to come back here and walk my doggies and get some lunch. So it's kind of a crappy day. It's not the best, but I um, just want to quickly show you uh, what we did so far and how everything is coming together. We are almost done. A few more little knickknacks that we have to do, but um, take a look now. Now, I know I did a video about Zenith Blue being, to me, an average color. And I know some people were like, hey, Chris, what the hell? And I'm like, you know what? This color has really grown on me, guys. And I think with this color combination I'm going to show you on the inside really makes this color pop. And uh, a great alternative, a great option for Zenith Blue. Now Zenith Blue looks killer with this combination. So very, very cool. We got here. The wheels are painted, our, our chrome uh, beauty trim rings, the white walls of course as our signature look. One with the wide molding running boards. Usually you find those on the earlier Beetles, but we like anything to make it look a little bit earlier. Again, these are from Wolfsburg West. So we get those, uh, some black beading. Cleaned up the bumpers. Engine is just killer, I freaking love it. Uh, really pops and it's just, Got a nice throaty sound to it with this MP exhaust. Now the exhaust was a little off when we got it and when we put it on the engine, the exhaust tips actually uh, were touching the apron. So we didn't want to run the car just yet with the exhaust touching the apron. I called CIP1 about this and wondered what was up. He said, yep, they're almost always off a bit. And so I asked him, what's the solution? He's like, well, you gotta improvise. <laughs> so I'm like, oh gee, thanks. So uh, we actually had to cut the pipes and move them a little bit and then re-weld them uh, to get them off the apron. Uh, I didn't want the apron to get hot or any paint uh, coming off. So, but uh, looks really sick. Our tar boards look real good. Did this uh, complete ground up rebuild of this engine. Big bore piston and cylinder kit, so it's a 1641. And we went with a mild, uh, the first, uh, the scat cam, just a mild upgrade uh, and that we threw in here. Solid rocker arms. Um, rocker shafts so yeah very very cool I love it let's put this down let's go inside I'll show you what we were talking about here here's the door panels from so fine this is Vanagon blue yeah man look how cool that is if you get Vanagon blue and then we did the gray tweed with so fine and these are the pro car seats the sports seats she offers these seats and she'll offer to reupholster them for you so we opted to do that and they came out just beautiful the, the the padding in it is excellent you feel very comfortable in these seats actually even a little bit uh you know the ride height actually feels a little bit higher which is really nice and uh really really nice she did a great job with the upholstery and the, the the foam on the inside it's really really nice so and there's our blue painted dash this is also we had a swatch of the vanagon blue and we brought, i brought it to my painter and i said get as close as you can to this to this vinyl blue here to match the to put on the dash so that's what we did uh, put a little tachometer there which is really cool the little uh bambus shelf and we have the basket for your cup holder cut some four-piece carpet the carpet we put in here is the gray german square weave carpet you can get the same carpet from wolfsburg west uh, but we went through uh, so fine on this one and her kit is actually a little different than what you would get from wolfsburg west the way her cuts are and uh, the stages in which you apply the carpet um you know, which pieces go first and which overlap what. Um, Wolfsburg West is different from TMI and TMI is different from SoFine, the way they these kits go in, but um, really nice. German square weave carpet, as expensive as it is, um, it's a tougher material, you know, like it's the backing of it is pretty hard. Uh, I mean, if you went with just a loop carpet, the loop carpet that you get from either TMI or even SoFine, it molds into the sections of the car a lot easier than the German square weave. German square weave, you kind of have to put a heat gun to it, soften it up a little bit or let it sit out in the sun. And uh, But 
it does look very good. It's uh, pretty high quality stuff, so I really like that. And then uh, we also added some uh, door sills here because again, the exterior of this car was painted at one time, not the interior. So the original blue Zenith blue paint is on the interior of this car, as you see here on this door post. So they only painted the outside. So he wanted to cover as much as the imperfections as he could. So we put these door sills on, but the uh, we did make sure that the rockers and the heat channels itself were were solid, and we're not just covering up some holes here. So, uh, but uh, roof looks great. Really nice. I was finally able to close this roof. It was very tight. Again, we had to bring it to another upholstery shop to change the material, uh, but we were able to close it. And uh, we need some good hot days and some a little bit of moisture to put on the roof to get it to stretch. But uh, everything looks sick. I mean, you, in my eyes, I mean, we really boosted the value of this Beetle. Uh, it's just really, really nice. Let's see if I can. Move the seat forward here so you can see this. Here's the back seat. Back seat we had a repulsor ourselves. So just TMI foam, the high density foam with the so fine uh, gray tweed and the uh, Vanagon blue. My friend put a blanket slash towel on the back to kind of give it a little bit of a color in the back, which is pretty cool. The blue is actually pretty close to what's in the car already. So funny. So. But yeah, guys, a uh, little maiden voyage. It just came down here. Take it for a quick ride. Uh, get the gremlins out. Get the bugs out and see what I need to overhaul uh, some more. I've got to tweak the engine maybe a little bit, the, the idle mixture, that kind of thing. Anytime you take out a car for the first time from being restored, uh, there's always gremlins that you've got to face. So, uh, but uh, it's just sick. Everything looks really nice. Who would have thought? And uh, that's it, guys. So I'd just love to hear your comments, see what you guys think. And uh, 68 Beetle, we're almost done. And uh, I'll do a driving video and things later on. But uh, for now, just wanted to get you guys up to speed. All right, guys. Be well. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.